But other people who are like, I can't believe you wrote all this personal information, well, I can't believe you read it. I mean, I'm a 20 year old guy. I can write about my life, and thousands of people will come and read it every day. This is really a revolution. And I think, huh, wait, I'm from a wealthy background, I'm white, and I'm a guy. This is kind of the same thing that's been happening in publishing for the last four or five hundred years. In today's digital age, the internet has transformed into a deeply personal space where individuals see connection and inspiration like never before. Seekers of motivation follow the likes of David Goggins and his stories. Who's gonna carry the boats and the logs? Seekers of drama follow the latest updates of the Kardashians and their show and their online posts. Seekers of more engaging window to the life of others watch vlogs while some people like the anonymity of the stories and restrict themselves to anonymous personal tales shared on Reddit and text-based forums. This behavior is not unique in itself. It is fairly common in society, but I can't help it but ask the question, who started this obsession in the online sphere? Before the rise of personal blogging, the landscape of the internet content was a little objective. The content was vastly dominated by organizations, businesses, and media outlets, and the people were more interested in trading files and information than actually sharing their experiences. The content was often one way, with limited opportunities for interaction and user-generated contributions. So the spark of our story happened in 1981, when a small kid by the name of Justin Hall discovers his love for computers, when his family gets him an Apple II Plus, and later in January 1994, as a freshman in college, he gets inspired by some people's pages. So he puts up his own personal website called Justin's Homepage. Until now, these websites do not qualify as personal blogging yet, but simply identity website with some links on them that the owner is related to or wants to shout out. So Justin's page had a picture of himself, some basic information about him and some of his favorite links. Not long after, something really strange happened. A wave of internet surfers had developed a liking for his collection of links that ranged from safe to work content to sex and drugs. And their numbers started to skyrocket. Not only college nerds, the visitors included government employees, scientists, and military personnel. So he thought, these people are already here for my links. Why not seize the opportunity and shamelessly plug some of my poetry and short stories? So he started sharing people he met, places he went to, and experiences of his. And that's how links.net was born. And the rest is history. Justin shared his experience growing up with a busy mother and an alcoholic father, story of his arrest, catching a sexually transmitted disease, his beef and fight with an author, stories of his bus trip to promote personal blogging in voiceless communities, and stories about all the people he met on the way. He also documented his trip and freelancing job in Japan. He even posted pictures of his genitals and got diagnosed online. Justin went all in with oversharing, introducing his romantic partner and romantic life, his marriage, and eventually his divorce. Justin had one of the earliest public freakouts on camera, with a video announcing he no longer will be updating the website about his personal life because of the extreme scrutiny and social isolation, and the endless doxing and death threats. I can't write about people. I can't write about people. They don't want to be there and I have nothing to write about. I have nothing to write about if I can't write about people and I have nowhere to go with all this shit. Justin learned from his experience and since then keeps his new love life and personal life under the folds of secrecy. He now values the privacy he has more than strangers' input. Yet, he understands that the phenomenon he started is one of the most valuable human experiences we today take for granted. I'd like to end the video by saying Justin is a really special individual, and I didn't include any details of his life as I would love for you to hear it from Justin himself in this cleverly made documentary on his channel. Justin's life and experiences play a significant role in shaping the landscape of personal blogging as we know it today. By sharing his personal stories, struggles, 
just then sparked a wave of authenticity and connection among online content creators. His willingness to be vulnerable and transparent paved the way for others to do the same. And to celebrate this gentleman, tell me something about yourself in the comments below. Check my channel for similar stories. Thank you for watching.